Hey, it's Katie, and welcome to my corner of the world. All right, now that we've decluttered all of my palettes and everything, move that off to the side. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this, one of the things I want to do in 2023 that I actually started doing in 2022, I just didn't really tell you guys about because I wanted to see really if I could do it. I actually enjoyed doing it and so now I want to do it more officially is as I would choose like a calendar of palettes. It's I chose like a palette for every month. I would use that palette and at least one and other or during the month. Those were kind of my count my palettes of the month. Um what I want to do going forward this year though is kind of have like my count my palette of the month and, and then I'm going to choose like another palette to go with it and then choose like a smaller palette or a single shadow that will also be used that month. But in, in this, this video today, what I wanted to do was kind of show you the palettes that I picked out for each month. So kind of my calendar of palettes. Now I will always have my Viseart mattes. That, and my Huda Beauty gemstones ones that I can use. Those, these kind of are always there are, and part of it. So, so those will be there throughout the year. All right. So starting off with January. And for January, I chose the a Nomad Venice Simple and Express. This was a collab with Ipsy that Nomad did. Um, I basically chose that for the cover art on and this. I just thought this kind of screamed New Year's with the like martinis and the flapper dresses and everything, the trombone. Something just like made me think party, New Year, or new start. So this was my, this is going to be my January palette this for 2023. The inside doesn't look nearly as exciting as the outside packaging, but this is what the colors are going to be for that. So I will do this as one in January. I'll choose at least one more palette and a small one that will go with them, but these will be, I will, uh, I'll be using this palette and doing some looks with it for the month of January. Okay, moving on to February. No surprise on why I chose this one. This is the I, A Heart Revolution, the Angel Heart. I mean, come on, and it has a heart on it. You gotta do it for February A and Valentine's Day, right? Hey, I mean, these are totally my jam. Um, perfect colors for Valentine's Day in February. Still a little. I'll kind of have the darker for the winter, lighten it up a little, especially around Valentine's Day. So yeah, that one is February. March, this was March's last year. I think this is when I started it last year was in March. And like I said, just didn't tell you guys what I was doing. Um, this is the All of You Forever. So it's got some greens in it, some darker colors still oh, for or the winter, but again, I can lighten it up a little bit and I will, I'll bring in some lighter colors with a second palette. Um, but I love this one. And so, oh, and because it's green, it goes with March. April. Oh, 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 this is just, you know, flowers. It just, I just think spring when I see this. This is the Floral Vintage by Ace Bute. Hey, and I just think, you know, this starts saying more spring, summer to me hey, with the colors. They're getting a little bit lighter. You still have some darks to use. I always want to have some darks there. Uh, but these colors just start saying spring, Easter type thing to me. So that is the April palette. May. May, May is going to be the What's the Tea from the Balm, the Ice Tea palette. Um, last year, I think I, I did the Hot Tea one. Um, 
I guess for me, iced tea, they may makes me think starting warmer colors. I don't have exactly a super light colors in this one though. Um, um, although these purples do bring out some lighter colors. <coughs> also, when I think of tea, you guys might be like, of course, there's, you have this, whoops, it's upside down. I'm spilling all the tea. A, um, you know, of course, Tea Tuesdays, but uh, my mom is a big tea drinker, and of course, my is Mother's Day, so oh, I, tea always makes me think of her, so this is my May palette. June. And getting into summer, summer festivals, fun, so I have the uh, um, Magic Mini by Juvia's for uh, this one, and it just has fun colors there's um I'll definitely bring in some lighter colors with like a smaller palette but it, I just like all the fun colors in this one for June and it just you know bright summertime fun and so that's gonna be my June palette July is the Lemoncello oh oh by Colourpop again and it just makes me think summer lemonade, summertime, fun, and the packaging just does it for me on this one. And I think the colors too are great summertime colors. There's definitely, you know, lighten everything up. Uh, great for, you know, bring a little pool time color there. So that is my July palette. August I struggled with. I wasn't sure what to do for August. And I finally said, you know what? I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone in August because a lot of these other ones are kind of sitting right in my comfort zone. And I'm going to have some street tacos and do the Glam Light Taco Palette in August. This is definitely going to push me out of my comfort zone. And I will definitely be choosing a smaller, my second palette or a smaller palette with more neutral colors to help me with this one. But uh, I'm saying this is August. This is, makes me think August. Again, fun time. And September is back to school. And because it's back to school, I'm choosing my Hogwarts palette. Uh, wouldn't we all love to be going to Hogwarts? It's for school. So this is what that one looks like. We're starting to get into some fall shades over here, but kind of, you know, end of summer transitioning into fall and the deeper shades again. And, and mostly chose it because of back to school. And I love this palette. So, you know, that too. So that is my September one. October had to be one of the Hocus Pocus ones. I did my other Hocus Pocus one last year. This was my October one last year, so this year it's going to be this one. And so all the October shades... Needs. We've got greens, we've got oranges, we've got purples, all of the things that make you think Halloween. And so that is my October one for 2023. And yes, I do decide these at the beginning of the year. I do stick with it. Um, I will say like even throughout last year when I would get new ones in, and most of the time I didn't change my palette out at all. Um, sometimes I would I'd definitely add ones in or I would try to add, add one in that it made me, it, that I had just gotten November. It's got to be the Nomad Hudson Valley one. I mean, this one just screams fall uh, with the colors, with the uh, packaging everything about this one is fall also oh, that is going to be my November one I definitely use this this year in November I loved it I forget what my other November one was but 
and I used this along with it. This was kind of my like second palette, but it is going to be my number one and November one this coming year. And December, er, this was my December one this year. It'll be my December one next year. And, let, and this may be the only one I may change out is if I pick up something else between now and then in like after Christmas sales. Well, that is more Christmassy. Otherwise, it is the Too Faced Christmas Coffee Palette because, yeah, I mean, we've got a gingerbread man and we've got greens and reds and just fun Christmas things things um and it it did pretty nicely on in my eyes like I said in my other video when I was showing this it wasn't and like I wouldn't put it in maybe my top 10 palettes but it is a nice fun palette to use in December er, so that is my calendar of palettes for 2020 three let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you have have palettes that you think belong in certain months or you have ideas for palettes for months and 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 I will kind of be reminding you every month this year or definitely letting you know each month what my palette of the month is is and then we'll also kind of talk about it and review it at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month but that is it that is all i have for you today until i see you next time have a great day bye